Hi everybody, welcome back to my next video and today I'm going to be presenting Maddox Rod Test. Definition This test uses a specially constructed uh, device consisting of a series of parallel cylinders lying 3 mm apart that converts a point source of light into a line image. The purpose of this test to identify the presence of horizontal, vertical deviations, torsional deviations, as well as latent and manifest strabismus. The prime purpose is to define eye position and the ability of both eyes to fixate on the same object. And we can perform this test in the near and for the distance. So what we need? We need a Maddox glass, pen torque, in order to perform the test for at near for 33 centimeters. And uh, for a distance at 6 meters, we can use the Bernal Muscle Imbalance Measure card in order to have a fixated light. In order to correct the position of the line, we can uh, also use the vertical and horizontal prism bar set. Do not use Maddox rod test for both eyes. I mean, do not use it for right eye and then look again for the left eye. Just use it for the right eye. How to perform? Hold Maddox rods horizontally to measure horizontal deviation and hold Maddox rods vertically to measure the vertical deviation. So in case when the, those cylinders are directed horizontal way, the patient will see the vertical line. And when the cylinders are directed in vertical uh, direction, then the patient will see the horizontal line. Let's start with horizontal deviations. We put the glass in the horizontal way and if the patient says that he sees the light in the middle of the red line, so this is an orthophoria. In case if the patient sees the light on the right side of the line, so this is a left esoteviation. In case if the patient sees the light on the left side of the red line, this is the left exodeviation. I specifically wanted to point which exactly eye is exodeviated or exodeviated because in many resources we can see that they're describing that the position of the when the light is positioned on the right side this is exodeviation but most of the time they are not specifying which exactly eye is exodeviated because you can also interpret it in a different way when we say here for example the light is on the right side and this is a left exodeviation but this is in a relation to the right eye because you can also describe it the way that the right eye is exodeviated in relation to the left eye and the same way you can say that uh, when the light is on the uh, left side of the line, you can say that this is the right eso deviation in relation to the left eye. So that's why I wanted to define which exactly eye we're talking about here. So this is the left eso deviation in case of the light on the right side and the left exo deviation in case if the light on the left side. For vertical deviations. We put again the red glass the way that those cylinders are directed vertically and the patient sees a horizontal line and when the light is in the middle of this line, this is again an orthophoria. In case if the patient sees the light above the red line, this is the right hyper deviation in relation to the left eye. And in case if the light is below the red line, this is the right hypo deviation in relation to the left eye. There may be the situation uh, when you put the red glass horizontally and you expect the patient to see the vertically uh, directed red line, but instead the patient says that he sees neither vertical nor horizontal line. And this is the patient perception of the eye in case of right eye excyclotorsion the image displays nasally or in cyclotorted and this is due to excyclotorted retina and here you just ask the patient to turn the maddox rod uh, counterclockwise which will place the red line vertically and this way you measure the degree of a torsion and in our image for example we can see a 15 degree excyclotorsion This was Maddox Rod Test. Thank you for watching. Till the next video. Stay positive, stay healthy. Bye.